Right, we're doing a bit of a P Metallica rehouse. Um, I didn't really have enough cork bark, so um, yeah, I really want one of the, uh, well, you know, uh, regards to the shows to to basically, because it's a great place to buy cork bark, and obviously you can select it in person at the moment with lockdown. It's, um, it's a bit of a lottery if you buy cork bark, getting the right size, because for this size tea, and hopefully you'll see it in a second, I wanted a sort of larger piece which um, got a circle, you know, cylindrical. And uh, But I basically sort of done a bit of a bodged job. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get going. And then a little note at the end about the um, T Laguna egg sac. It's been a nightmare. I've been a constant stress. And I don't know whether it was because my um, uh, incubator wasn't quite as well designed as I thought it would be um, I've had problems with the humidity and keeping it sort of around 70 to 80 it's sort of gone up to like 90 at times and I've had to open the lid and then of course you're worried about them getting out but um, they've, turned, they've turned black some of the legs and um, I'm going to do a video after this uh, maybe tonight I'm going to leave them for a bit longer and uh, hopefully show you what's going on Generally, when the legs of the little eggs with legs turns darker, um, it means that they're sort of close to molting. Um, so, yeah, so whew, I still don't know. I mean, they could all die in the molt. So um, it's just one of those things that I think for the first time doing something, you're not really sure how to do it. I mean, I know I knew the general kind of plan, but of course... As it's going on, it's sort of there's a smell. They they were sort of smelling a bit, and nothing much was happening. And uh, yeah, so um, it's all a bit kind of scary. It's like when you first get your, your first tarantula, you don't quite know what's going on. And you're sort of panicking, and well, I mean, I still am. I think once maybe I've got over this first sort of incubating um, sack then um, we might, I've just realised something, there might be roaches in here, oh I don't know if you can make out this, it's a bit of a webbed up, Ugh. crumba, now the little chap is down inside, um, what I'm planning on doing is using this to just tip. Yeah, sweetie. Oh. Uh, ooh. Got a bit of a threat posture. Which is not good. I'm trying to use this as a sort of slightly wider than the. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, this way. Uh, that's it. I'll become. Oh, don't go back down. Ugh. I think a few technical issues here. Oh, wait. that's it. Come on, sweet pea. Hopefully, you can make this out. No, 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 don't go back down. That's it. Oh. Oh. Do you see those fangs there? That's not a good sign. Oh, no, 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 there we go. Oh, no, 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 Damn it. That's it. no, uh -oh. Not down there. Oh, crap. no, oh, no, 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 Come 
Oh, sweetie. And we're in. Wee. <laughs> okay, we'll have a little look of uh, him or her. Neat. Let's keep an eye on this one. Seems to be um, well, they're all kind of skittish. It has just fed. Um, ooh. Or we can just zoom in a bit. That's not going to work. And it's gone into like a scaredy cat position. We'll zoom in a little bit, just have a little quick look. But yeah, there's one of my P Metallicas. The other one is um, a lot bigger. I'm just going to leave this one alone and sort of try and not disturb it. And um, yeah, hopefully... We're going to do a little video later of the eggs with legs and I can show you them wiggling about. So, yeah, fingers crossed. And I uh, hope everyone's well. Cheers.